In our region, February ran more than two degrees below normal with seven days that had single digits for overnight lows. And we wanted to know if this has had any impact on insects and if we can get some relief from pests by summer. James Gilbert looked into this buggy issue for us and has this report. Rochester's lowest temperature this winter, two degrees on February 8th. So do we get a free pass on less bugs this year? Let's start with stink bugs. Many of them will find warmer places to overwinter, and we know that when we see them in our houses when it starts to warm up. Cornell scientist Brian Eschenauer says recent warmth and a turn back to cold could squish the problem. With uh, sub-zero temperatures and fluctuations in temperatures, we may lose some of the population, so we might start out with lower numbers. That's the good news. The bad news is other pests like ticks and mosquitoes are gearing up for the spring. To kill ticks, temperatures need to be below zero with no snow. Sorry, Rochester. Especially with a blanket of snow. They're buffered, and we'll probably see just as many ticks. As for mosquitoes, they're doing fine in Alaska, so they'll be biting here, too. They'll probably do just fine after a winter like this. Once the flora start to bud break, the bugs will start to bite with no signs of backing down. James Gilbert, News 8. All right, James, thank you. Ending on a good note here, recent cold has been able to lower the number of gypsy moths and invasive species in the Finger Lakes that's been destroying crops over the past few years. Coming up next in our Health Watch here on News 8, a side effect to COVID.